In this video, I'm going to give you four steps that you can use in order to create an effective nourishing, grounding, self-care routine for the fall and winter. If you don't know who I am, my name is Aaron. I am a certified life coach and mindfulness and meditation practitioner, and I am here giving you the tips, tools, and techniques that you can use in order to create a positive shift and transformation in your life. Setting up a fall and winter self-care routine is something that I'm actively working on in my personal life. So I wanted to come and share this four-step framework that you can use in order to do the same. Along the way, I am going to give some different examples of activities and even things like herbs. Um, but whatever doesn't work for you, you can swap out for your own ideas um, and just really tailor this to what you need. Before we get started, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the bell icon so you get notifications on all future videos. And make sure to stick around to the end because I'm going to be telling you about the dark arts self-care series that I am going to be starting here in about two or three weeks on the Higher Alignment Instagram channel. But let's go ahead and, and jump into the content. So your first step is going to be to set a goal. This is something that I always advise doing whether you are developing a self-care routine for the fall or winter or whether perhaps, you know, the new year has come around and you are working on what you want to accomplish or manifest for the year. But when you have a goal in mind, you have a destination. And many times people will say something like, oh, I want to improve my life or I want to, you know, heal myself or I want to take care of myself. But even deeper than that, many times if you haven't specified what exactly that means and what exactly that is, then you don't end up getting the results that you want. So here you want to go ahead and set an intention, set a goal. If this seems very interesting to you or you need more help than you know what I have briefly said here, just comment below and I'll make a separate video, maybe some journaling activities, give you some journaling activities that you can use. But you want to basically set a goal. You want to start out with a goal. You want to start out with an intention. And bringing back up the Dark Arts Self Care series, we're going to do a workshop where we create what's called a Sankalpa. And you can do the same. This is going to be a sentence in the present tense that deals with what you want to manifest. There's something deeper, deeper than money or, you know, surface level things. Um, so just think about that. What is something that you would like to walk away with having learned or having manifested or having having had developing your personal life experience by the time the springtime rolls around and try to get this in a short, concise sentence or a short, concise phrase. Do some journaling on this and then try to condense it down and get to exactly what that is but that's going to be your first step setting a goal or setting an intention okay step two this is going to be selecting activities that support that goal or that intention that you set for yourself so for example for me this fall and winter i think about fall and winter as a time for rest as a time for rest and uh, recovery, rejuvenation, nourishing, grounding. Um, I, I, I think about all of those words and those attributes when I bring to mind the fall and winter. So that's something that I really want to give to myself during this time. So by the time the spring time comes around, like I'm ready to roll. You, you know, my energy, my vitality, my physical body, um, just um, I'm, I feel refreshed, restored and renewed. So and even that, maybe that's going to be the Sankalpa. We'll work with that example for this video, this video, the Sankalpa or the goal or the intention to be refreshed, restored and renewed. So we think about, OK, what does that mean? We thought about that in step one. You broke that down, uh, refreshed, restored and renewed. And now you want to select activities 
that are going to help you feel refreshed, restored, and renewed, that are going to help you refresh, restore, and renew yourself. Um, so if you're not new here on Higher Alignment, basically my entire YouTube channel and uh, my resources teach you different te techniques and different tools that you can use for a variety of purposes. So for example, you could adopt a meditation practice, a mindfulness meditation practice. Maybe you want to develop these skills and so you're going to be inside during the winter in the house. Okay, so you know that would be something good to do. Maybe you want to adopt a journaling routine and you really want to dive into journaling every day, doing different journal activities, self-inquiry, self-exploration. Maybe you want to try something like dream work or lucid dreaming. This, I think that the fall and winter is the perfect time to engage in activities like dream work and lucid dreaming and astral projection. I haven't talked about astral projection as extensively here on Higher Alignment, but you know, I really enjoy using metaphysical tools for personal development and self-care. So these are the ideas that I'm throwing out to you because this is what I do and this is what I teach here. Um, but something new to think about yoga nidra, I'm going to be talking more about this as the weeks go on. Um, and this is going to be extensively a part of the dark arts self-care routine series that I'm going to be doing. So let me tell you a little bit about that. Um, so I'm going to be having workshops and guided practices throughout November, December, and January that will teach these different tools like dream work, lucid dreaming, astral projection, yoga nidra, meditation, things that you can do when it's dark outside, when it's cold outside, in order to support your self-care, your well-being, and your personal development. So if that interests you, just keep that in mind. I'll, I'll bring that up uh, a few times throughout the video and leave some resources in the description box. Um, but basically looking down here at my notes, there are two different types of activities that I'm considering, but you can once again, fill this in with examples of your own, but nourishing and restorative activities. And then also don't forget about your creative activities. These are going to be things like arts and crafts and painting and cooking and just different creative things that you can do during the winter, during the fall, when it's cold outside, when you're in the house, kind of to keep yourself sane, but also to motivate you. And once again, to nourish, encourage, and support you. Okay. So think about that. What activities can you engage in that will support that intention or that goal? Um, and let's go ahead and move to step three. Okay. So step three, step three is one of my favorites because I think about like ice cream sundaes and you're putting all the toppings on after you have chosen your favorite flavor of ice cream. But to me, step three is like the sprinkles on top. So, so this is going to be considering things like herbs or essential oils or tools or whatever it is that you would like to use to enhance the activities that you have selected. And remember those select, those selected activities go back to whatever your goal or whatever your intent was for the period. But in this video, we're talking about fall and autumn. Uh, well fall and winter, but I wanted to bring some of the herbs and show you some of the tools that I'm going to be using once again to give you some examples of things that you can try or even just to help you break out of what you're currently thinking of and just, you know, give you some other ideas. So the first herb that I have is Thai blue Lotus. I actually love this flower. It's very, very beautiful and it prom promotes rest and relaxation. It helps with stress relief and anxiety. But another reason that I really love this herb is because it is very useful in dream work and lucid dreaming helps to develop dream recall. Um, so I have a nice big jar for myself. 
Um, and in the dark arts self-care series that I'm going to be doing, there will be an option for physical boxes that will come with tools and herbs and things. And I'm thinking of adding this one in there. I think that'll be an interesting one for people. Um, so I also have some lemon balm from my garden. Um, but even if you haven't grown lemon balm, you know, you can easily pick this up from an herb shop. It's very, very common herb. Uh, but lemon balm is very nourishing. It helps to relax. It actually is a member of the mint family, I believe. Uh, it, it has a great flavor to it once again, so you can add it into herbal teas or other tinctures and things that you're already using. But this one will definitely help to relax you. Um, another one that I have here is bee balm and let me see if I can, I didn't take the lemon balm out because it was just really leaves nothing to look at but the bee balm I really really like it has these purple flowers let's see I couldn't get one that has like a lot of petals on it but it has these nice purple flowers I'm not sure how clear this is getting um, but bee balm is also very relaxing, very nourishing. Let me back that thing up. Um, so I'm going to be working with these herbs, but, but I also like to use essential oils. I love my diffuser. I love aromatherapy. Um, I love incense. Uh, those are all very earthy and very plant, you know, plant medicine, plant material realm. Um, if you're interested in incense, you want to check out higheralignment.com. Also, another tea before I uh, forget, before I move forward. I actually, it's funny because I actually just dropped my whole personal case on the ground before I did this section of the video. But I have a dream tea that I make. And let me see if I can zoom it in without, I mean, without it falling out. Um, but you notice probably it has some Thai blue lotus in there, some lemon balm mugwort, uh, butterfly pea flowers, dehydrated blueberries, um, and this and some more herbs. But this tea I really, really use to when I'm deep in my dream work practice, because not only do a lot of those herbs promote physical relaxation and mental relaxation, but they help develop your dream recall and to make your dreams a lot more vivid and intense. So that is great if you're, you know, thinking about doing dream work or lucid dreaming or astral projection uh, this winter, this fall and winter. Um, another tool that I like, oils, essential oils, um, on higheralignment.com, I have an oil called chrysalis and all of my oils currently are made with cold pressed sweet almond oil as the base. But this one, uh, it has sandalwood and cedar wood and patchouli. So very grounding oils, um, high quality essential oils. It has silver flakes in there and a chrysanthemum and crushed fresh water pearls and frankincense at the bottom. I really love cedar wood and sandalwood because they are very grounding. They help with release. They help with nourishing and kind of helping you during that time when you want to go inside and reflect. Um, so I would suggest that you put your feelers out there, begin to explore and think about different herbs and different oils and different tools like um, crystals or, you know, whatever it is that you would like to use. And if you're looking for those types of tools, check out higheralignment.com. But let's go on to the fourth, uh, my fourth step for you. Okay, step number four. And this one is important. I almost forgot it when I was creating my outline, but this one is very important. Setting a schedule. You want to create consistency. And I talk about this extensively in the um, Learning Myself, the Learning Myself uh, workshop series, uh, where I teach you about self care and developing an in depth self care routine how to make yourself a priority, how to discover your passions, interests, and hobbies. That, that covers so much. Um, but 
in the self-care routine section of that series, I talk to you about creating a schedule and I give you some tips on how to do that because you want things to be consistent. That's how you get the most out of your practice. Honestly, when you do things for one or two days or you try it one day this week and one day the next week, you're really not getting the benefit. You really want to be consistent. Um, so consistency doesn't mean being constant. So even if your self-care routine is not something that you engage in every other day, at least it's every, I mean, if it's not something that you engage in every day, it may be it's every other day. Maybe it's Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Maybe it's one day during the week and one day on the weekend. But you definitely want to create some type of schedule for yourself so that you can be consistent. And that's going to include outlining your activities, how long you want to spend on each activity. Do you want to do anything before, like before or after the activity? Maybe once again, we just talked about herbs. So maybe that's making yourself a cup of tea in the evening to kind of say, OK, this is when I'm going to start my self-care practice. Um, or, you know, anything, maybe lighting an incense at the beginning of the day. If you're like, you know what, I'm going to meditate every morning for 20 minutes. Maybe you have a certain scent of incense that you're going to light every morning. And that's going to signal to your brain, signal to your body that, okay, this is what I said I was going to do is, uh, is here. The time is now we're going to do it. But, um, you want to, Set a schedule and I have a few tips for you. Creating consistency through a set time and space. So you don't want to leave things to chance. That's the number one way people mess this up. I will have what I called morning space and evening space because I feel like I deserve time and space for myself before and after and really any time in my life where I, I just can come with me and be with me before I have to deal with everyone else. So I will set a specific time for morning space and a specific time for evening space. Um, so we have the space time thing going on. I will write out, okay, this is what I'm going to do for morning space or evening space this week. Um, these are the activities I'm going to engage in. These are the herbs that I'm going to have. Um, this is what I'm going to do. So create consistency through a set time and space. Number two is going to do be small daily intentions. So you can kind of mix these up and play with them however you want. Once again, like I said at the beginning of the video, this is very flexible. Um, but creating small daily intentions is definitely going to help you. And sometimes, many times, that's better than just trying to do one big, hard, complicated task. Um, so say you're going to work on your health and fitness and you say, okay, every day I'm going to start with a glass of warm lemon water and ginger. I'm going to go for a walk every day. I'm going to add one more vegetable onto my plates. Um, you know, so these are small tasks. We want them to be small because we want them to be very easy and effortless to complete. That way, once you have completed them at the end of the day, you feel satisfied and encouraged to do that moving forward. Rather than if you do something very complex and you don't get it done, then you get demotivated somewhere, you know, small daily intentions. And then the last one is organizing things into systems and routines. So just like I gave you the example of morning space and evening space, or if you want to have like a midday, whatever, if you organize your activities into systems and you have routines, that's going to make it a lot easier for you to adhere to them. So those are my four steps for you to help you develop an effective fall, winter self care routine. Hopefully that has inspired you and given you some ideas. If you need more suggestions or more tips, go ahead and write that information, write your questions in the comment section. I will be sure to answer those for you. Um, but I did want to tell you once again about the dark arts self care series. So let me tell you about that really, really quickly. Um, so on my Instagram, if you're not following, following me, you definitely want to follow me at higher alignment, higher spelled H I Y E R same as here on YouTube. I often hold workshops, masterclass series, and this, this winter I want to do something different. So what I, I have it basically planned out. You'll see me posting something about it soon and sending you out emails. If you're on my email list. 
Um, but what I want to do is create a container, create a community for the next three months, kind of like a subscription service. So it's going to be housed through my Patreon. I'm going to set that up. And you can choose, I think there's going to be basically two, maybe three package levels, depending on how you want to engage. I'm going to have weekly workshops on different metaphysical activities. And we're going to talk about creating tinctures and creating teas. We're going to do some creative workshops. Um, but in the workshops, a lot of times I'm teaching, you're taking notes, but we're also going to have practices. So we're going to have guided practices, structure, time and space, just like I was saying, the evening space and the morning space for you to engage in the self-care activities and self-care routines that I'm going to do this all throughout the winter. I'm going to have themes. You already know I'm going to have a workbook with some journaling exercises and some additional resources all of that good stuff. So if you're someone who's like, you know what, I really, really want to take care of myself. I really want to nourish myself and ground myself and give back to myself, then consider supporting my channel and also supporting yourself and engaging with me, joining me in the dark arts self care series. So we're going to work on journaling, meditation, yoga, nidra, dream work, and lucid dreaming. I'm going to throw in some astral projection, EFT. We're going to have structured reading time. We're going to have arts and crafts and just lots of things. And there will be multiple workshops and multiple, you know, practice sessions. We can call them right now throughout the month and each month. So if you miss one, it's no biggie. They're going to be consistent and, and constant. So I will include the link to all of that information in the description box, as well as the links to some other things that I've mentioned in this video. Um, I'm trying to think, Oh, my self care ideas list. I'll include that. I'll leave you some goodies. Check, check the description box. <laughs> okay. So hopefully you have enjoyed these four steps. Go ahead and grab your journal if you haven't already and work your way through that. If you have any questions, leave the comments in the comment box, check out the links and I will see you here for the next video.